Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here on the Citadel SMP just outside of the West Hill build where we've been building the last three and a half years and we are going to pick up where we left off on this pumpkin farm sitting here along the West Road. We were working on some of the custom pumpkin patches and I think I have a good idea about how I want to continue but I think I want to uh, perhaps lay out a little bit more of the things closer to the house and sort that out. Uh, I like to kind of bop around from working inside to working outside. Uh, I'd like to work in this area here, but to do that, I think I have to make some decisions about what's happening around the house. And to be honest, I spent a lot of time last stream putting down pumpkins and looking at the ground, and I think it might be a good idea to kind of move on and, and try to get a little bit more of a balance happening. I want to move this cart. I want to think about the duck pond, that kind of stuff. Sweet Sandy subscribing at tier one, 41 months. Thanks ever so much, Sweet Sandy. I really appreciate that. Hope things are well with you. It's a holiday for you, is it not? Or was that this weekend or Monday? I can't remember. I know there was a, there was a hol holiday at some point recently. Hopefully that was fun. It's today. Oh, cool. Well, happy holiday. I don't remember what it is, but I knew that there was a holiday. There's two things that uh, you stop keeping track of as a, a freelancer, as a person that works full time from home. One of them is holidays. And I never can remember all the different holidays around the world. I can barely remember the Canadian ones. Sweden National Day. All right, cool. So very similar to Canada Day for us, which is July 1st. Cool. Very cool. All right. Well, uh, we've got a bunch of stuff in our inventory that we can move around. Let's switch off shaders so I don't lose my mind. And we'll take a look at the things that need adjusting. I think that the potatoes is because I was planting potatoes. Yeah, let's bone meal this just to make sure that these all look full grown. We can have an idea what we want. Plus, if I need to plant more, then I can just harvest what we've got here. I like this kind of idea. And I think I like a mix of carrots and potatoes. I think we'll do... The carrots are of a nice orange tie-in with that. I kind of wonder if we should do... All carrots on the edges. I also remember that I need to go get the other bush box. I need more. Oh no, I have some here. Oh, it's that I don't have any azalea. That's what it is. I need the azalea box. All right, we'll go get that. I think it might be time to bring out a, a few other shulker boxes. I remember being a little bit hamstrung by what I had brought out previously. Axinim, hello. Welcome in. My mouse software running, I'm feeling like, yeah, it is. My mouse is being chuggy. I really wish that Razer would figure out how to make mouse software that doesn't chug modern computers. The fact that those apps are not optimized is just pathetic. Uh, Azalea, that's what I want. Uh, what kind of flowers would we want? We were looking at maybe torch flowers. Tulips would be good. We could also go complementary and go with blue. And then of course, 
Actually, let's just bring that out. Oh, I know. Uh, Pixel Riffs mentioned on Monday on the 300th episode of the Spawn Chunks that I should use melons and pumpkin mini blocks. And I think that's a good idea. So we're going to go look for those too. Bring that out with me. I never thought about red sand. for food. Oh, good. Don't really know if I need more of those, but I'll bring them out anyway. Okay. Midsummer Festival sounds great, Sandy. I'd like to... I like that kind of stuff. We've got a open street day happening in downtown Dartmouth next weekend or later this month. And that's always fun. There's always something novel about setting, like closing down a street and then having it be pedestrian only. There's a couple streets like that in Halifax that close down on the weekends. You can't drive down them. You have to... You have to just avoid them and then people can walk and there's patios and restaurants and I always find that stuff really cool. Feels like you're breaking the rules. So we're looking for pumpkin mini blocks. That could be interesting. Uh, I do have pumpkin mini blocks. I don't believe I have any melon mini blocks. Raw copper might be interesting. Could look like a rotted pumpkin maybe. Pretty sure I did not buy any melon mini blocks. Acacia planks could be useful. I am not seeing anything that looks like a melon. Good to see you, DJ Chris. Hope you're having a good day. So the idea here is that in some places we could potentially fill in little areas like that with a little mini pumpkin block. And of course, we can control the angle a little bit. Yeah, cool. Carrots, 
I think I decided I wanted to put carrots down both sides, right? That hoe oh, does not have silk touch on it. Whoops. Yeah, that could work there too, I think. Actually, we'll leave a couple of these. I think you have to grow torch flowers, right? You can't just... You have to actually plant them in soil. Yeah. See, unfortunately, I feel like the green on these is a little weird. Nice that they only take two bone meal to grow. All right, potatoes can go away. So as far as this back garden was concerned, I thought maybe we could add a little moss here, put the carpet back, do the same thing here, and then drop one of these guys in there just to kind of help with that little border. And then I'm wondering if we can do something like that. I don't know. It's hard because the mini block leaf texture is not transparent. Those are generally better off kind of like behind things. So for example, it might look better back here. Right, yeah. Layered in there, I think it works a little bit better. Oh, was I supposed to make that double wide? I guess maybe this was supposed to be probably more carrots, huh? To make it match the other one. Actually, let's go the other way around.
I think that looks pretty good. We'll have to do some texturing along here to make it make sense, but working out. Yeah, Jake Christ, I, I don't miss early exploration in Minecraft. It's never really been the fun of the game for me. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll leave that just like that. I think that sort of frames that up a bit. Hmm. CJ says I explore, I uh, enjoy exploring for biomes more than I enjoy exploring for structures. Oh, for, totally, yeah. I'm more about the landscape than I am underground and other biomes and stuff. Although I have to say, like when you find a lush cave, that's a that's a fun experience. That's a fun experience. So I know I wanted to put a wood pile here. I know I wanted to do a pig pen there. So then we got to decide. Is that going to match? I feel like that's a little bit too too high contrast. Uh, I feel like tulips might be better. Yeah. Yeah, I would argue that tulips are better. So we'll put maybe some muddy mangrove roots in there. And I mean, I could also have some stuff here as well. I wonder if I can get away with having this be a bit more bushy. How did I do the flower beds on the other place? I want to say it was mostly coarse dirt. Rooted dirt. Okay. Oh, I gotta get some of those acacia leaves. So we can't put anything there, which is tricky. I kind of want to put flowers there, but I think I want to, I mean, that that's great because it's the double, it's the data pack double flower. I don't know if that changes from a height perspective, but that also might be too high. Yeah. All right. So we'll do that and get the right blocks here.
I don't know if I want to go with something different up here. That works. I guess before I get too carried away with, with this, I should double check to make sure we're not moving anything inside. Yeah, I think we're okay. Like I, I don't think I don't think I'd want to move that wall. This is going to be a day where I, I think I flip flop back and forth a lot. about that kind of feel like you'd be better off not having that stick out so much maybe what we need there is something more kind of wood related Yeah, I did get really lucky with the data pack on those blocks. Um, for folks that don't know, uh, we have a data pack on the server that randomly changes the amount of flowers. Uh, and depending on, so here's a good example. I'll put that somewhere else. So sometimes it's one, just like regular Minecraft. Sometimes it's a different model. And it just depends on where you are in the world. So it's a little bit on the lucky side, but it's, uh, it helps things look a little bit more more interesting, I think, when you have multiple flowers in a row. <clears throat> yeah, I think that works. I want to put something on this as well. I think a mini block there would look good. I should have brought out my mini box shulker. That would have been smart. I feel like this is going to need a little bit of extra muddiness around it. Yeah, that works. Go get the mini blocks. I feel like maybe I should tackle the house a little bit before I do this area here, just in case we need to change things there. I'm curious about that block if we can make that spruce and have it look better. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, I wonder if I could use a barrel. That would give me a different texture because there's already one of those here. So if I used a barrel, we could use the inside texture of the bottom of the barrel. That. Mind Trip Media, thanks very much for the 100 bits. MC Mikey, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. I do plan on having a pig in the pig pen. I don't know whether the pig can get out of that pig pen. I don't think it can. It might be able to walk over the space, but usually mobs look at trapdoors like not being able to walk over that. So that could change. I don't know. I mean, we can test it. I have a pig. Do I have a name tag? Not in here, I don't. I, f I feel like I lost all my name tags when I lost a shulker box at some point. I might have them in the other shulker boxes. All right, I need to go get them anyway. Mini blocks. A honey block with carpet on top might stop the pig from getting out. That's interesting. Could use brown carpet. Might look a little bit more like mud. I really don't think I have a name tag. Oh, can I craft name tags with a data pack? Yes. Paper, iron, and string. Oh, wow. I just did something. Touched a button on my mouse and changed the sensitivity. Woo. My iron box must be already out there. String. I think that's in the clay box. For not the clay box, the wool box. Yeah, I lost... Uh, I think it was the shulker box that I... It was called the utility shulker box. It's something I had had for a very, very long time. I've since kind of replaced it with other things, but it had like ender pearls and and food and ladders uh name tags tripwire hooks it had like just a bunch of other little things that you don't necessarily like it had books like empty books it had uh, things that i have now grown and distributed into various other shulker boxes but at the time it really um it really was something. Oh, I don't have any room. Uh, what do I not need to have in my hands right now? Carrots. Curious about the uh, dripstone. Also, am I low on mushroom blocks? No. Move some of these over.
So the torch flowers, I think, were too loud. Put those away. I think that was the recipe. Yep. So now we'll just do a little um, texturing in there. So my guess is that this would be the one spot where it could jump out. So someone suggested, a, well, I can't put carpet on that because, well, I guess I could put, could put it out like that. That wouldn't be the end of the world. Actually, a little depth is actually not. Not bad for that. So maybe we'll do that. And then honey block with carpet. I don't know whether the brown carpet is going to look quite right. I guess we could use green carpet. Or um, moss carpet. You're really not going to see it anyway. Because here, the pig can't get out. Here, there's nothing to jump onto. And then I guess here would be the only other spot, but yeah, there's enough room there. I don't know whether that would keep it from jumping out or not. If anything, if he walks on it, it'll make a cool mud noise. That is a weird color. Maybe we have to try something different back there. Nope. Nope. I think maybe I just need to switch these. Dad from Bear, subscribing at tier one. 22 months, thanks ever so much. Blast Jordan, Dan Grice, good to see you both. Yeah, I'm not in love with the carpet. I really, that might be a necessity more than something that I've, I want to have there. And this we can maybe even go back like that. Makes it look more interesting. All right, let's get the pig. How do we get the pig? Oh, I didn't want that.
The pig doesn't have any ears. He did try to jump. That's sort of cute, sort of annoying. We'll have to see. What happened to my lead? Here we go. Leads were another thing in that utility box that, that I lost. I mean, I have, a, I have a lot of leads now, thanks to the wandering trader. a little bit small I can't put anything there because of the trap doors It's okay. Something that would be cool too, if we, we could put like a, if I, if I change this back, I could put a stair back there, like a backward stair and put like a little water trough for him. I guess I could put that there as well if I wanted to. That just feels really small though. The fact that his head sticks out kind of makes this look like it could be like a picket fence, like something they could stick their head out in between. I wanted to see what this would look like. I think it fills that space nicely. Right, so then here I wanted to do a little bit of work inside to make sure that we have the right textures so that if I'm going to work on this little garden, I don't want to have to change that. Yeah, I'm not so worried about that word nerdify. The fact that the pig can't stretch his legs is not really, not really the end of the world. So I need that. I need some trapdoors. Keep those. Phantom two eighteen, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. For folks that might be watching this later uh, or um, have not seen it, there is the 300th episode of the Spawn Chunks available on YouTube, and it is a video podcast. It's available everywhere, wherever you get your podcasts, but uh, it's available on YouTube. You can watch Johnny and I. We are moving to video for their foreseeable future, so you can expect to see us on camera on YouTube every week. Good to see you, Am. Welcome in. Barrels, trapdoors, signs, and then tables and chairs. What color do I want the tables and chairs to be? This is where we could have some fun. I feel like the jungle wood is a really good call.
then also acacia could be fun too That might be a little bit too much. Yeah, I think that looks better. Actually, let's go with that one being in and then this one will face that way. I'm assuming the white is going to be pretty bright. We'll see. That's actually not bad. Okay, we'll leave that like that. If it was too bright, I was going to try gray, but I think the gray would be too dark. Jans, hello. Welcome in. I think that looks more interesting. And then inside, we have a different texture. Which I think works better. The, the dark oak was just too saturated for me. I actually kind of like that. think I want to change the bottom I guess we could try to put other blocks there. That looks cool inside, but does not look very good from the outside. So I think safe bet was worth trying. Let's go back to this. I think I tried that before. So along here, we can put in flowers. I do like the idea of framing this up. We can't put anything there, which is annoying, but we could do one of these sunken bits.
Oh, do I not have any more tulips? Now here, I think we might have to go with a little bit more stone around the house. So I'll wait and I'll do that. And I can't put anything there. Feels a little bit better. Yeah, simple. It works. That's not bad, you know. This is where I would love to be able to wrap leads around the fence posts without having to then attach them to another animal. If leads have any changes in 1.21 and there's a data pack that I could get that would allow me to put leads around stuff like that, I would love to use leads as rope decor. I think that would look really, really good. Now I haven't really done anything with the texture of the house here. This might be worth changing to a uh, jungle trapdoor. Oh, I know that leads on boats will be a thing for Java. We talked about that on Monday. I mean, um, I mean, will will the way that leads function within the game from a technical side allow people to make data packs that will then make a lead? Um, stay. Oh, I like that. I wonder if we should do that over there as well. You know, having jungle trapdoors as the windows, I think is a good, good call. One, two, three. Maybe not that one. We'll see. This is that iterative process that I talk about a lot where as you're working on certain things and kind of walking around the build, you kind of get ideas as to what what will work. And as you make some adjustments, you kind of have to go around on the fly. Uh, I don't remember which way I have to face. I think it's the other way around. I like that. I have to move the flower for a second. Oh, we have to do them the other way around. So depending on whether I want them open or shut, I'll have to make them look a little bit different. feel like inside we might want to go with something a little bit more wooden here.
Don't know. That might have been better before. Yeah, I think there's just too much going on there with the bed. Maybe we can make the bed have more of like a footboard? No. That's better. I think maybe we mix it up. I think maybe some of these are going to be spruce and some of them are going to be jungle. Just depends on what looks good. Uh, I think I have to... Nope. We'll do it this way. Yeah, that's fine. Trapdoors have really weird inconsistent textures. Yep, I think that's okay. Thank you, Sweet Sandy, for the reminder. I think I will absolutely take that break. Yeah, I kind of want there to be something here. You know? We really need like little fences in this game. That seems to help. I guess this is okay there. Yeah, I like that. I've used a lot of these flowers. I think I might try to fix, like, switch it up and have just something a little bit different there. I don't think we want blue out here. No. You know, I think whatever I put there needs to be Maybe it has to be the fence. Yeah. Anyway, I'll sort this out after a break. So for folks that don't know, I uh, I take a break about once an hour. Gives me a chance to stretch, grab a glass of water. You should too. Feel free to tell a friend about the stream. The more eyeballs we get on the stream, the better. And I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
Ancients, thanks for the raid. Really appreciate you sending over your viewers. I know you've obviously had to go. Don't want your dinner to get cold. Ancients was working on a Minecraft Guardian farm oil rig. So if anybody in my chat wants to go check out to see what Ancients was doing, then you can do that on Twitch. For anybody that came in, I know that Ancients has raided here once or twice before. So if you don't know who I am by chance, I uh, do the Spawn Chunks podcast with Pixel Riffs. Joel Duggan, that's me. And I stream here on Twitch Thursday through Sunday. Uh, today is Minecraft, tomorrow is Lego, and then the rest of the weekend is back in Minecraft. And we are working on a pumpkin farm. Custom pumpkin everything. Pumpkins are life at the moment. That's kind of where we are. Pumpkins and tulips, apparently. Uh, and then there's no other really orange flower. Torch flowers are too bright. So I haven't really figured that out. I do think I want to put some azure blue a though down here did i bring the whole flower thing i think i did yeah we could try white tulips but i've got a funny feeling that the blue a is going to be where we want to be i don't think dandelions are really what i want but I think the white flowers are going to look nice with the diorite. And I think maybe, yeah, a little bit of yellow in there too. I think I like that better. I'll leave those. I like those where they are. We don't have any room to really put flowers out here because of the signs in the trapdoor. I guess I could try to put one there. I find it kind of distracting, so we'll go back. Carpet. That works. So then I want to put more flowers in front of here as well. And I'm thinking this should be perhaps something that has a little, a little fence or something around it. Something like this. The 12 month subscription courtesy of Cosmic Dancer for Mini Packs has entered the ninth month. Thanks so much to Cosmic for that gift sub. Mini Packs, good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. And your ability to show up when I'm on break is, is uncanny. I'm glad that you're the kind of person that has the patience to stick around and wait for the break to be over. I kind of like the idea of doing something asymmetrical out here. So like, I don't want to put three flowers. I think we're just going to do the two. And I, you know, honestly, we could probably get away with more greenery over here. So like, we might be able to do like a bush. Like that, maybe. We really are getting lucky with these flowers. Although, I don't know with that bush there. Maybe we're better off doing... No. What about a fern? Maybe if I grew that. Too tall? K-Doll, good to see you. Thanks for coming by.
I like that. I don't know if I want to stick with the white. I like that better than the bush, though. Got to remember there's going to be stuff here, too. Probably more pumpkins. And this is going to be more rock, I think. Did I do that over here? I think I did. No, it's all dirt. Oh, no, the front I did. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. It helps helps separate the gardens. I thought I did more more to separate the flowers, but I guess I guess I was thinking about the green that's between the pathway. I don't have that on the other side. Oh yeah, that's fine. That works fine. Okay. I think it's maybe that the path just isn't textured yet. Got a funny feeling this is going to need to be opened up just a little bit. So, then what do I put there? Do I put a bush there? I think I like that. That was better with the green, wasn't it? Oh, and then I could maybe sneak that in. Hmm. I don't think I can put a sign on a fern. No, you can't. <laughs> Whoops. How many packs you're doing flower beds in real life? Nice. I don't think I like that. Yep, yeah, I think we'll leave it just like that. Well, that's easy. That got us around the corner pretty quick. Obviously, I haven't tackled the roof. All right, we can move on. Funny how sometimes regular grass starts to look a little bit odd after a while. I like that. I think that works. A 
bundles are no good to me because I have to get the stuff in and out of the inventory constantly. And I can't see what's in the bundle. It's no use. I'd be better off carrying a shulker box. Okay, so I'm going to want to change up the wood types, I think. And I'm going to use a fire, an extinguished fire um, campfire. Honestly, I could probably get away with moss here. And maybe even some azalea. Yeah, and get in a little bit of texture here. And then I just have to switch uh, a couple of these blocks. I get a campfire somewhere. I use Exuma's shulker box mod when I'm doing this sort of work. Oh, totally, yeah. Yep, I've got that too. I've got that too. I'm also, I think I'm done with the flowers, so I can put those away too. I think that's where the campfires were. So the idea would be to put it here. Or, I mean, this is gonna defeat the purpose of having that leaf block there. No, I liked it better the other way around. That's good. So I'll probably switch out, it'll be the top or the bottom, I'm sure. For this, I usually like either stripped spruce. I don't think I'm going to go with stripped oak. or a regular spruce log. One of these combinations. I 
That's not bad. That does stand out a little bit better though, doesn't it? Maybe too many, too many colors. I think that probably looks the best. I could put another campfire down. I think I like that. But now that I've done that, do I want to change this back? That just matches the ground too much, I think. Nope, I think we're good. Nice. Well, that takes us full circle all the way around. So we've pretty much tackled all the ground around the house. Yeah. I like this combo. I like having like a little bit of the bush underneath the, the firewood. I really like the... Uh, mod from Iskal says CJR Williams about the um, stamping the shulker boxes. Yeah, I'm using that too. I don't like it when you use blocks. Items look good, but blocks stick out in a really funny way. So I don't tend to do that. Like for example, if I wanted to make this azalea and label this as azalea, I like this. Like I like seeing, I like the way that it's displayed. But if I took this and I wanted to make this the azalea leaf box what I don't like about that is that when you put it back down that to me looks really silly I think it should be flat like I think it should be like more like a pixel thing like that so for me I don't tend to really like it It's a cool mod though. Like I like I like symbols like this. Like this is all my different woods, right? But you can tell immediately. I mean, some of them are easy to remember because like that's mangrove, that's acacia, this is jungle. But then like when you've got three brown, like this makes it so much easier just to know which one is which, right? Oh, there's a newer version on Hermitcraft? Yeah, that makes sense. I find that they do tend to do the new one on Hermitcraft and then, like you said, they don't update them. Or like CJ said, they don't update them. You're talking about uh, one with Exuma that the mod lets you jump in and out of shulker boxes inventories without putting them down. Oh, wow. That would feel really modded. That would feel really modded. All right, so there is one thing I wanted to look at on the front here. I could try the fence post thing. Because I do like that. I would love to put a fence post there, but of course it's going to attach to the log, which is not going to look that good.
What's different about it in the new version of Hermitcraft? I have not watched Hermitcraft in a while. Just been too busy. It doesn't look terrible on top of that, which is good. I like this there. I don't necessarily like that it connects to this in a funny way. Hmm. Darn it. That's kind of what I want to happen. Like I want something just a little bit to cover up the edge of that tulip, but I don't particularly like this. No, you know, I, I think I like the way that it looks with it more than I dislike the overlap. Or like this thing. What could I put there? Maybe one of these? That's better. That's less chunky. I just really want to do something about this. Maybe a wall? Maybe like a diorite wall? I'm, I'm noticing I'm not using the door. <laughs> I'm kind of just walking off the end of the path here. Uh, diorite. There's only the one kind of wall, right? Yeah. I never thought I get our pig is still there. He hasn't moved. I don't know whether he's completely stuck on, like, I don't think he's been able to move off of the, of the, um, the honey block at all. So maybe he's just like stuck on the one block and can't move at all. If I can get him off of the honey block, which I can't seem to be able to do. I guess the hitbox between that trap door and that trap door is probably going to be trapped, maybe? Oh, and then that doesn't connect at all. Huh. That doesn't quite look as good either, does it? Then I'd have to put walls over there. Yeah, okay. What else could I put there? I don't think Hermitcraft had a lot of people in the SOS adventure that I recall. It was mostly other folks outside of Hermitcraft. A pink flower? Wait, I didn't hear the question. Hey, it's Cosmic. All right, well, I guess the lesser of the evils for now. Yeah, just Joel and Smallish Beans. That's only that's only one person from Hermitcraft.
Yeah, I don't know what to put there. don't think a hanging sign connects to anything. Sweet Sandy, thank you for being awesome. And these um, don't have end textures. I don't know whether that's because I'm using um, the mod, like the performance mod, but that's also annoying. I mean, that doesn't look good anyway, but. Maybe I do both. I think that's the best solution I've come up with so far. So we'll keep that. I also think that I need some polished here. Short. Maybe a little bit of calcite. So from the inside, maybe those two. But from the outside, maybe these two. I think we'll just put this back. The diorite's a little bit darker, and so it looks a little bit more like a shadow. So we'll leave that like that. Looks -a good. So then it's just a matter of putting in whatever we want for uh, stones and things. So per perhaps we end up with some stuff like this around. I think that could be something we could do. Hmm. It's a pretty 
pretty green through back here. I don't think there's anything else I could put down. I might be able to do a bush here. Or maybe back there. I think that looks okay. I like that. I wonder if maybe I should use a smooth one all over, although that looks a little bit more rustic, so maybe we'll leave that. I'm glad I decided to work on the house today. I think that's, that's a good decision. All right, uh, chimney and back door. Back door, similar to the front. I think I want something special over the door. Although we've got to be careful of that texture. What I would normally do would be this. But that's got a funny connection, so. Maybe we'll just overlap it. Oh, I need to put on the um, the rafters and stuff. So this has got upside down stairs and trap doors. Oh yeah, that's helping already. Do I want to do slab like that? And then with the granite and jungle, maybe we can get in some uh, jungle trapdoor. Mostly wood, isn't it? Quick podcast related question from Kdal. By becoming a patron, first tier, do you get access to just the Render Distance episodes during which you are a patron, or do you get access to the larger library I've been considering joining for a little while now? Oh, you get access to the full library, 100%. Uh, you can use Patreon to subscribe to a special member-only RSS feed, and then both the Spawn Chunks podcast and the render distance extended version will end up in your podcatcher and you can just decide which one you want to uh, you want to listen to. Um, but then I don't know if with that RSS feed, you can then use your podcatcher app to then go back and scroll through the archive on your phone. You 100% can go back and scroll through the archive on patreon.com. And patreon.com has gotten a lot better uh, at um, being an audio player. So like you can... You can play a podcast on Patreon, either in the Patreon app or on the website, and then you can lock your phone and put it in your pocket, and it'll play in the background. Like it's it'll it'll work like YouTube or iTunes in that way. Ah, uh, that looks awful. Um, I 
But yeah, you get access to everything. The only thing that doesn't happen anymore, which I need to adjust on the Patreon page for the Sponge Chunks, is that we no longer do voting on monthly discussions. That's still in some of the podcast description stuff for um, the tiers. And we don't really do that anymore. And thank you very much for considering supporting the show. That's awesome. For folks that are wondering if you want to um, support the Spun Trunks, it's, it's, uh, I think it's a dollar an episode. So $4 a month. So less, less than a latte at Starbucks. And you can support the show. What did I do on the front over here? I feel like I had, yeah, just a mix. Oh, I see, I have a trap door behind it. And the way that Patreon works, actually, we charge per episode, so you can never be quote unquote overcharged. It'll always just be however many episodes we publish. So every once in a while, there's a, a month that has five Mondays. So instead of four bucks, it's five bucks, but it's still, I think relatively cheap for, at that point it's $5 for 10, not 10 hours. It would be more like six hours of content, I guess. Six or eight. Well, no, because you get the render distance and that's often an hour 40. So you're probably looking at close to 10 hours, you know, probably eight. Yeah, it was better with, it was better with uh, the granite. This though, I think we'll make jungle. It looks fine. And I think we can probably do some buttons back here as well. And I'm wondering if we can do some mangrove wood for some decoration. Hi there, welcome back. Good to see you. For folks that have no contact, hi there is the person's username. Because <laughs> if you can't see the chat, you're like, why is Joel saying hello there to no one in particular? Uh, lurking, but I'm curious how you get the items on the shulker boxes. It's a mod. Yeah, it's a mod. It is called... Shulker Plus. I don't know why there's no image for it. Again, they're not great at updating it. But uh, it's by Captain Wutax, who is part of Iskal 85's design community. Most of the mods that we play with on the server are like organizational mods or graphic mods. I really try to stick to as close to vanilla gameplay as I can.
So that kind of blends in, but I think it blends in because we've not really done anything with this side of the roof yet. So I think we're okay there. So one idea I had would be to put a ladder there, but we can't put a ladder there. The other idea I had would be to use mangrove, which I don't mind. That looks okay. And that actually might be something we could use over here. Hmm, I don't know. Let me just sleep and get the sun back up. What do you think, chat? Mangrove at the bottom or stripped dark oak all the way down? Uh, thanks, Little. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I read chat. I just don't always... Um, stop what I'm doing. I find sometimes I get, I have the opposite problem. Like I'll go and watch a streamer and all they're doing is talking with chat, at which point I'm like, well, why are you playing a game? Um, so I tend to be more on the laid back side. People are saying they like mang mangrove better. I'm not sure if I like the way that it looks from in here. But we could cover that with something too. For example, I could put like trapdoors all around that. We could also just build that up a little bit. That might be cool. Hmm, okay. I mean, maybe not a stair. Maybe we do trapdoor. Yeah, I think I like the I think I like this on the back door. I don't know if I like it on the front, which is not a door, it's a window. I think it's because of that. Oh, we will do both. It only it only takes a second. Yeah, it's not bad. Maybe I'll leave it like that for now. Just give it a bit of a foundation. It might look a little bit funky inside. Now I could remove the barrel and I'd have to do, hold on, let me get a full wood block. So it makes sense, I think, if I do that. And then that way inside, it'll just look like all the same across there. Still need to do something in here though. I 
don't know. Um, do I have... I guess I could do a barrel. That's too much, too much of that. Yeah, a little bit different. I like it. Now, could I get rid of this? I mean, it looks good both ways. I think I actually like it better without. Oh, you know what we could do? Really feels like it's patched together. Oh, that's too much. Ladder probably going to be too much as well. Uh, you know, that actually looks like it might have some sort of function. Maybe I'll lean an axe up against that, and then we can leave this there. I like the asymmetry of that, actually. There's too much of a line going across without it. I feel like this horizontal texture change looks really obvious, but when you do that, I think it takes away from that, so... Good. Victory. All right, so uh, the only thing left to do, I guess, on this base level is gonna be the chimney texture, but like that's technically part, I would say, of the roof. So we really need to go around and treat the back side of the roof like we did the front side, and even that needs a bit of work. It's not really exactly where I'd want it to be. But I like all the changes we made along here. And what I like about that is that now we can work on the path and some of these other patches of garden or lawn, whatever we're going to do. And we know we can just move from the house and radiate outwards and that this is not going to change. And I guess the only issue there is that we have not really done much inside. So we have to just make sure that we don't need to expand or anything, but I think we're fine. Um, it's going to be a very simple build in here anyway. And I think this is all separate from the outside. I don't think it's the same blocks. Yeah, so we've got a separate layer there. So we can texture the outside of the chimney separate from uh, being inside, which is cool. And I think I might try to add an andesite stair while I think about that. I don't know if I did this before or if I just didn't have the block on me maybe. I don't know if that necessarily looks better or worse. It's not as quaint, that's for sure. That's actually kind of a cool detail. Maybe we'll end up putting something up on the shelves. Cool. So next time we'll probably be a little bit of the inside. 
here, which is all lit up, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, we'll work on maybe a little bit of the details in here, and then also the roof. I'd really like to get the house finished, because it's in a lot of screenshots, and it looks kind of wonky being unfinished. It does help a lot that we've done a lot of the grounds here, so that's, that's better. I really like this. I like the tulips. They were a nice, nice touch. And I like the little splash of white that we have over here too. Yeah. I would say... I'd say we're good. Alright, uh, we are going to pass y'all along. Let's just see who's live. Pix is doing Elden Ring. Scotsman UK is still live. Let's send y'all over to Scotsman. A member of this community, uh, a member of the Spawn Chunks community, and a pretty cool builder has a big project just like Westall. really big project going on i think you'll enjoy your afternoon with uh with scotsman uk i'm gonna sleep here and get the the sunshine back as i talk about this kind of stuff uh, in the meantime i'll get rid of some of my inventory as i point you also towards the spawn chunks podcast which is all about minecraft every monday i do that with pixel riffs and we celebrated our 300th episode on monday and it is now a video podcast so you can listen you can watch you can do all kinds of cool things uh interact with us by sending us email it's a uh, it's a lot of fun i really enjoy doing that show and uh you can subscribe on all the major podcasting platforms that also uh is something you can do with the citadel cafe which is my other podcast that's all about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment i just recorded a new one of those last night with steven esc it hasn't been published yet but we'll get there it's one of those things that just takes a little bit of time. Uh, you can follow me on social media, Joel Duggan, very easy to find. That's Instagram and Twitter, I would say, are the most active in terms of when I go live. If you want to see uh, stuff like this uh, as uh, as I continue to work on it, then, then follow me on those platforms. Uh, you can also uh, check out things like Patreon. We talked about the Spawn Chunks Patreon earlier, but I have a Patreon as well. Uh, you can support either the Citadel Cafe podcast on Patreon, or you can uh, check out my personal Patreon. There's a bunch of different levels. One of them is just a, a base entry level to support me. It's a lot more affordable than Twitch. So if Twitch and uh, Twitch subs are not your wheelhouse, they have gone up again in some countries. Uh, you can check out the um, uh, the Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It does a great deal to help me continue to stream and you get access to the Discord, also where I notify people when I go live. And there's also a higher tier if you want to play on a, a server with a bunch of like-minded people uh, that is very similar to the Citadel server. It's called Infinity Cove. It's my patron server. And there's a lot of people that build on there. A lot of really cool interactions. Sometimes they do like little mini games and get togethers and stuff. Uh, so if that sounds like something you'd like, then check it out, patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. And I'll be back tomorrow, and that's going to be with some Lego. So there are a number of streams on Twitch and on uh, VODs, on Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube from the Lego build that I'm working on. It's the UCS TIE Interceptor, and that is what we're going to be working on tomorrow. Bag 10 and 11, I think, is where we are with that. It's a, it's a really fun build. I think you'll have a good time. So I'll see you back here tomorrow at 1 o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus 4 hours. Until then, have a good afternoon and enjoy Scotsman UK. Bye for now.